Hey, 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 YouTube, YouTube, before we hop into this video, make sure you go ahead and go over to my Twitter at StabGuyRanger and hit that follow button real quick. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button, man. Smash that like button real quick right now, my nigga, right now. And hit that bell so you get notifications on when I upload and become notification squad. So, hey, let's get it cracking. Woo woo. Yeah, my name G Herbo. I like nasty bitch. I like classy bitch. Look fake sassy bitch. I got ratchet bitch. Bossed up bad bitch. Foreign swag bitch. Alright, G, still got range in the building one time. You know how we bombing. I'm giving you guys the best archetypes to use for the playground and pro on because we all know that the prelude will be available to us this Friday. And in the prelude, we're going to be available to play on the playground. So I'm going to let you guys know which ones you guys may need to use before the game even come out. So with the prelude, you guys can practice and make some players. And these will be the, be these will be the best options. These are going to be the best available options and choices that you guys can make. And I'm going to show you guys the pure and dual archetypes that you guys should be using once the game drops or on the prelude so you guys can get a feel of how they are so let's get straight into the first one that i claim is mine i'm gonna be making this one specifically the most popular one my dude i'm gonna I'm claim this one so let's get straight into this one all right so on some real stuff y'all need to pay attention to this one this is the one i'm gonna be claiming this is the first player i'm gonna make a tall tall point guard reasonably tall point guard with this ability man with the skills of shot creating and passing and ball handling which is a shot creator playmaker this is going to be you know the most op dual archetype and i put hands down on it because i'm gonna make it the you know the most op i'm gonna put videos out on him every day of his progression of how he doing what he's doing and that I'm, I'm heavily convincing and suggesting that you guys use this player or make this player when the prelude or when officially 2k drops out because dude just look at everything you feel me the offense is good everything else the acceleration speed the strength is all right but the only thing that's reasonably down is the defense versus the steals and blocks and the rebounding i don't expect myself to get rebounding like that unless i made myself like a it's kind of like a rebounding point guard if i aim to be a rebounding point guard which i do not plan on being a rebounding point guard and then that's where i want to fully worry about the uh that's what i when you know want to fully consider about you know getting rebounds as a as a point guard like that's not gonna be me to be honest but just pay attention to everything else the steals and blocks is not that good and i don't expect it to be that good because he's gonna be a playmaker he's he's gonna be a point guard he's gonna be tall enough to do things that i want him to do but i don't expect him to be the best at getting blocks but i do want to try to get steals though which is why you know defending is gonna be defending skill is gonna be a good part in the, all the other archetypes that i'm gonna show y'all but hey Y'all need to pay attention to this scoring point guard on finna May. I can't count my word, dude. Count like the like keep this in mind. I'm finna make a shot creator playmaker of uh, archetype that everybody wants my dude. And I'm telling y'all, it's finna be OP in the playground and the pro end. So I definitely wanna convince that you guys use this one when the game come out, cause that's gonna be this is gonna be all me, my dude. I put my word on it that this is gonna be all me on my soul, man. This is gonna be all me. So shot creator playmaker is gonna be a good archetype to use for the playground. Cause uh, look, it's just the mid range is on point. You can almost max the mid range out. The three point is there, midway there. So look, he's gonna be scoring. He's gonna be crazy, man. Moving off dribble shots is gonna be for him. So just imagine, you could make almost all of them. Just find yourself a jump shot, and hey, it's gonna be crazy. Now cancel out what I said about having the bad defense. You can also make yourself. A shot creator lockdown defender which gives you the defense that you may think you want to have but then again that takes down the that takes away the playmaking that you had the playmaking you may need that just in case you run into many other defenders on the playground of the pro-am hey if yo if yo passing and your ball handling is down trust me they might steal the ball if you run into a pure lockdown defender or anybody else that has you know the defending skills and abilities to match out with yours you feel me it's a whole balancing situation you need to know who you may run into the fact that playmaking is a necessity in this game because a pure lockdown defender can max out their steals which will also be another op archetype that i will show you guys and explain fully why it's an op and i will get to that later on but look just just imagine you have your playmaking down. Your playmaking is not the best if you got a shot creator, lockdown defender. But you, if you haven't lockdown defending capabilities, look, you might just, hey, you might just be able to steal the ball and get blocks like that, man. I'm telling y'all, this is also going to be another good archetype to consider as you know being in the game. And you might, you guys might want to choose this if you don't want to have that playmaking skill. Go ahead and get the steals and blocks that you may think you need. So, hey, I'm saying this one's going to be a good one also that a lot of people may choose. So, hey, take note into this one. Now, looking at this side, this is just two passing the ball handling skills put together. 
which is basically going to be called a pure playmaker. This is going to be just like the playmaker from 2K17. And this is the dribble guy archetype, you feel me? This is the archetype where people are going to want to make if they want to become dribble guys. So let's just say, uh, I'm, I already imagine Hank is going to make this uh, archetype. I already imagine um, Impact, what's his name? Impactual. Yeah, Impact was going to make this. I run you. All of them that want to be dribble guys, they're going to make this archetype right here because they want to be able to do all the passing the ball handling that they can. The ball handling goes up, and they have all these little animations. They, ha they have all these little tier 2, tier 3 dribble animations that not a lot of other people may have because, A, they want to become dribble guys. So this is going to be the dribble guy animation. Although, look at their offense. It's going to be pretty bad to dunk, lay up, but just imagine. If you cross somebody over, give them that ankle breaker. Look at the badges, my dude. Look at the badges. Everything is, you know, everything is going to be Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame ankle breaker. Hit somebody with that Hall of Fame ankle breaker. They fall on the ground. Hey, your defender's down. That's an easy layup for you as long as nobody else on defense picks up. So, hey, layups and dunks really don't matter as long as you could get to the basket by giving them that crossover that they may need. Once you choose this archetype, you feel me? Pure playmakers, just leave them on the ground with the Hall of Fame ankle breaker. That's going to be the one way to help. You know that helps out this you know archetype everything else is pretty bad but it's gonna be solid and good in the long run because hey legal defender on the ground that's all i'm saying that's really the only situation that people may face when they you know go up against a pure playmaker you feel me that's always what people faced when they got to a you know 2k17 playmaker you feel me so this is gonna be good but then again it also has bad stats but just think about in the long run the you know possibility that you can have by crossing somebody over Hey, leave them on the ground, that's an easy score for you. It's not too bad. It's not too shabby, but it's going to be a useful, you know, playmaker archetype that people can use. So, hey, it's still going to be good for the playground and program, I predict. So, y'all notice that with a pure playmaker, there was going to be maxed out ball handling. Now, with a pure lockdown defenders, there's going to be maxed out blocks and there's going to be maxed out steals. And then also the higher, you know, on the higher end, we're going to have acceleration and speed and strength almost up there as well. So, this is going to be a very OP defensive you know tactical type of you know archetype that everybody gonna be using in the playground and program i definitely suggest that this is gonna be one the only thing is is that mid-range three point you don't want to touch that you don't want to touch the three-point line or the mid-range you feel me man you're not gonna want to be shooting them type of stuff man the only thing you might want to be doing is a couple dunks here and there because that's gonna be the higher end a little bit higher on the plate you know the, on, on the offensive side you feel me but look defense is the way to go my dude this is going to be the last archetype, and just generally speaking about, you know, power forwards and centers, this is probably going to be the best archetype for y'all to choose, a glass cleaner slasher, you feel me? You just imagine, you know, put back king and whatnot, just imagine, my dude, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be finishing some dunks once you get the board, and this is going to be the official snagging archetype that a lot of people are going to be want to, you know, putting in, so I definitely convinced... I, I would convince a lot of people to use this one if they plan on making a tall center. Get you the rebounds, just throw that thing back in. Just be a Yao Ming on the court, my dude. Be a Dwight Howard from the Orlando Magic. Be a Shaq, my dude. Look, I ain't say nothing about three-point shooters or sharpshooters yet because they're kind of going to be a bad... It's going to be a bad scenario if you choose a sharpshooter on this game because... I don't know. All you can do is pretty much just shoot threes. You can't go into the ins you can't go into the paint with a sharpshooter. You can't do a lot of things with a sharpshooter, my dude. You, if you make a pure sharpshooter, you might as well just delete. The, you know, you, you might as well just sell the game, man. You might as well just do that. But look, this is gonna be the best archetype you're trying to make a center because a glass cleaner is slasher, my dude. Put just imagine, just imagine. I don't gotta say too much about it, but just imagine this is gonna be a good archetype for the playground. And pro if you plan on getting rebounds and just throwing that thing back in or getting to contested layups, my dude. Hey, look, it's a good archetype. I'm count like count. Listen, my dude, it's gonna be a good archetype, my my nigga. So look, this is all I want to say, man. This is the best archetype that y'all should probably consider if y'all plan on getting this game and you know going to the playground and prime with it. This is gonna be the best archetype. Feel me? I'm telling y'all, man. Listen to me. It's gonna be the best archetype. So look. Still got range, man. That's all I want to show y'all. Best archetypes. If y'all got anything else, you know, if y'all got anything to contest or, you know, object, feel me, just throw it down in the comment section, man. If y'all know some other uh, archetypes that might be good or something that you may disagree with with me, go ahead and throw it in the comment section down below. So, look, still got range. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And drop a like if you enjoyed this video and it definitely helped you out on choosing what archetype to use. And definitely hit the bell so you get notifications. I want to upload my next videos, my niggas. So, look. Stay your range. I'm out.